Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Just took me a second to get there. <clears throat> I'm sorry to clear my throat in your ear if you're listening with headphones. All right, uh, your audio is not broken. <clears throat> I have turned off copyrighted music. Uh, it's a setting in the game, actually. Which is cool, because then we don't get in trouble with uh, YouTube. <clears throat> All right, so... I have been very excited for this game for a while and I told myself that when I got this game I was going to pause on streaming Fallout 76 and uh, focus streaming on this which I have a feeling <clears throat> Wastelanders isn't going to happen for a little bit so I should be able to get through control before that happens. Now, I have the... Um, obviously, I play on PS4. And with the PS4 version, it comes with an outfit, and it comes with a couple of <clears throat> mods that we'll eventually get to have our character use. Uh, control is a... Imagine Twin Peaks, Stranger Things, and like the MCU had a baby. And that's Control. Uh, it takes place in the Alan Wake universe. So if you're familiar with the Alan Wake games, <clears throat> excuse me, this happens in that same universe. In fact, the gentleman that portrayed Alan Wake in the game appears here as a different character. And you'll get to see him, or I'll mention him when he shows up. Uh, I have seen some gameplay of Control, and it's fantastic. Ah. Uh, so much story, so much... A lot of cool things happen in this game. The thing is, we... First off, this is going to be really rough to watch, I have a feeling, in the beginning, because it's a third-person shooter, which, if you've watched me play Fallout 76, I do first-person. <laughs> third-person is probably going to be kind of challenging for me. So, please be patient. Um, it, it will get better. <laughs> I promise. <clears throat> the... What else was I going to say? It, 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 we get backstory and information about the people in this game about things that are going on while we play. Some of them come out in information bits that we can find. Some of them come through dialogue that we have with NPCs. And some of them are revealed to us in cutscenes 
where the character that we are playing reveals more of her past. And it all... It's all cohesive, I promise. <laughs> but it is a very strange game. It takes a little while for you to kind of get sol <clears throat> solid footing on what's happening. But we will discover things together. Now, because I have seen some of the gameplay, I'm going to do my best not to spoil things for you before they happen. We will do our best to <clears throat> find things together and I think this is going to be a fun game and I hope that you enjoy watching it. So, Oh, also I did get the season pass so the there's two DLC items that will be coming out next year in in 2020. So and I don't want to give you any information on that at this time. I don't want to it could potentially give things away, which I don't want to do. So, without further ado, let's play Control. I am going to turn subtitles on. <sighs> Crap. And I'm not wearing my glasses, so this is going to be interesting. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Toxic. All right, here we go. Hey, Beat. It turns out Anessa got me this for Christmas, so all I had to do is buy the season pass. <laughs> Yeah, sorry I was running late. I was I was looking for my glasses. <laughs> Still can't find them. <sighs> and your wife needed to watch Baby 504 glasses, Jill. Fair warning. <laughs> this is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. And please let me know you called me. if things are too loud. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. <laughs> the room's a Shawshank. Cell, and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. 
We are lying to ourselves. The runes, not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Okay, I am going to adjust the audio because Beat had mentioned it could be a little louder, so... Uh... Yes, just like in Shawshank. <laughs> Alright, like I said, please be patient because... <sighs> this is third person and... are going down here. And I hope I don't make you all seasick. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Okay, so we've got some collectibles. We're going to see, like, this glowing upside-down pyramid. That shape will... We'll figure out more about that later. But let's dig into this. <clears throat> so <laughs> yeah so there are objects that cannot be brought into the Federal Bureau of Control the FBC Okay, so an expenditure report. All right. I'm going to probably treat this like Fallout <laughs> a little bit. 
checking every nook and cranny. So. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Oh, okay. So left trigger zooms me in. So that's map. Uh, the up uh, on the control pad, not the stick, up is a map. Okay. <clears throat> Good to know. Generic chips, <laughs> pistachios, pretzels. Interesting. What a great movie. Say I sent you. If they don't hire you, Gator, you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you have out. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said. I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Okay. Something to note. She was thinking that, and he answered her thought. Uh, the other thing, too, is before I... In watching gameplay, I looked up Ati. And Ati, spelled exactly like that, A-H-T-I is a Finnish water god. And I have a feeling that when we hear him... How does one get in here? Did I... Interesting. 
<laughs> ah, Damak and Jalad at Tanagra. All right. Wait, before we... Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. I just seen in a PC version the 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 effects for the floor. You know, like the shine on the floor, the reflectivity of the floor, and some of the lighting was a little different. So I just wanted to see if there were settings that maybe I had missed. So, the sorry cell about that. And the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Yes, the PC version does use ray tracing. Yeah, Courtney Hope did the motion capture and the voice acting uh, for the character Jesse Faden that we're playing currently. And the face looks exactly like Courtney Hope. It's actually creepy how much it looks like her. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. More generic snacks. Dun dun dun. Oops. So, there is a lockdown in effect in the building, which somehow we got in. Containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override. HRA protocol activated. All right. So, a number of things are going on here. I promise you that we'll get out of this room real soon. 
Okay. Now I want to look at some of these collectibles. Welcome to the oldest house. So this is our mission that we're doing currently. Let's take a look at this other information. Uh, as you should all know by now, the um, I gotta stand up and get closer to the screen. The R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.e from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, uh, remember R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Boy, a lot of stuff redacted here. A shark in his, although secure, permission to following basic protocol, shoot to kill, good luck. So, something is definitely rotten in Denmark. So, what we do know at this point about Jessie Faden is that something happened when she was younger, the Federal Bureau of Control was a part of it, and she's been looking for them ever since her childhood to get answers. So, let's keep checking stuff out. Let's see if we can find more answers as we go. other documents. I like that they use pneumatic tubes for s Whoa. Okay. Results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Okay, well that took a turn. My bad. Oh. 
Oh, Jesus. Whoa. The same guy. Wow, that is really going to take some getting used to. Now, the inverted pyramid, which we've seen... <sighs> uh, that's the board. That is who we work for now. We've always got our fists. And the speech of the board is what reminds me of Twin Peaks. When the, uh, when the mages speak, it's often reversed or muted or masked somehow. the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy I'm happy to be here things have quieted down outside is it safe to go Get the fuck away! Ah, 
Oof. <sighs> yeah, I need to bob and weave more. Absolutely. Yikes. My health took it in the shorts. But... Okay, well, we can't go there. All right, so we've... Grip level one, so we can reload a little bit faster. Okay. Wow, got a bunch to go through here. So this was the dead man. who was in charge of the FBC. Okay, oops. Ah, crap in a hat. So only the director can use this object, this weapon. This building is called the oldest house, and it's obviously trippy. <laughs> and it seems to come with things. So... Trench probably knew something had happened or was coming. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Okay, couple things to note. Dr. Casper Darling, that actor, is the one who portrayed Alan Wake in the Alan Wake games. As I said, we would find this person. That gentleman is playing Dr. Casper Darling. That gentleman also played Will Scarlet in Men in Tights. <laughs> so, there you go. All right. So, shit got real. All right. Do I have a map yet? I do. So, somehow, I need to get... Can I get into here now? No. All right. I 
don't have level one hats. Is there something else I need to get? Off a trench? I just don't have clearance yet. Okay. Good to know. Stuff's got a secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. a way to crouch okay so I just have to keep moving how far do we get kicked back though Yep, that's not creepy at all. Health boost. Okay. I'll take that. God knows I'm going to need it. All right. So, Marshall, we have checked. 
Child suspected AWE in Duluth. <laughs> I live three and a half hours from Duluth. Uh, I think just. Okay. Yeah, this chanting isn't going to get weird. sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Okay, why can I not grab that? Huh, okay. gonna let me grab it now. No. Alright. Okay. I don't see another way down but jumping. That just seems ill advised. Or not. Okay, very stupid, very stupid, very stupid. Oh, Jesus wept. Idiot. Yeah, I'm not doing well here. Yep, very dumb. And I keep hitting triangle to jump. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I should be doing.
I have to say, playing the game and hearing, like, the chanting, uh, God, it is so distracting and nerve-wracking. I'm not trying to make an excuse for my crappy playing, but wow. It really just sets you on edge. And I'm wearing headphones while I'm doing this, obviously, because I've got the microphone, but it's just unsettling. Wow. Uh. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Hiss. Oh, there's the crouch. Thank God. Everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Okay, I'm gonna wait until she's done with the exposition because it seems to get in the way of stuff. All right, here we go. at this. Damn. I need to kill one of these guys. Like, really bad. Yep. I really don't have a good recharge on that push that I can do. <sighs> Must be an inherent power that I have now. Uh, I'm sorry, everybody. This is like the first or second big challenge, and I'm just eating it. Oh, the radio. Yeah, the radios actually do play music, and I have a feeling because I turned off copyrighted music that we won't hear anything. Um... Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. I really want this to be first person shooter so bad. Ah. Oh. Hey. Whoa, hey. Ah, run. Shit. Ah, so close. I'm kind of getting a better feel for the controls. I 
dealing with the view. Ugh. I really don't understand how people can play third person shooters. Oof. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. <laughs> All right. Really? Shit. Whoa, run. Ah. Trying to teach myself Latin here. All right. All right, just wanted to see if there wasn't anything else. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Hiss, burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. It does. All right, let's give this another try. Damn it! Ah! I can't tell where I've got cover at third person. It's so weird! Yeah, I, I keep, yeah, I'll, I'll try to crouch more. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our. Anything else? The control point. What does that 
mean? Help me fix it. So this must... It, it, one of the things that we saw earlier was that the house shifts. Holy it, shit! You did it! We did it! This must be what the shifting is. Are you with us? With the Bureau? Are you still sane? Me. We saw you, deep. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. <laughs> Membership has its privileges. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. Push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor <laughs> let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and... You probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. <laughs> She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. <laughs> okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Okay, is there anything in here that can help us? No. Nostalgia department? Ugh.
So that's a no. All right. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. <laughs> oh, beat. <laughs> Wait, with the PS4, wait. Do I have to do something special to activate that? Oh, I do. All right, not now. Okay, we are not gonna fast travel. We need to... Is Emily back here? That's different. Before uh, Trench was... <laughs> okay. The house is absolutely 100% alive. Those doors aren't opening, so... It's worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. That's Before Ordinary Wisconsin in the game. It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Oof. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. 
I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. <laughs> what scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. And there's the hotline, our destination. I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Okay. Damage boost. You know what? I'm going to do that. So, assets. Conceptual material. Okay, so we're currently work. Ah, oh, Jesus. <clears throat> and collectibles. What do we get? More information. How to handle... Like words of wisdom from a dead guy. Paranatural topics, urban legends. All right. I'll read that in a little bit. All right. She said I could ask her questions, so I think I'm going to do that to get more details. The hotline should be in the communications department. <clears throat> Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, uh, just Not at this time, Beat. Eventually, the yes. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there, if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. 
which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd yeah. need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Uh, I think that, yeah, they they do know. So no one but a. No one but the director can wield the gun. Uh, yeah. I think we find out in a little bit that anybody else trying to handle the gun would just be destroyed by it. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. His behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. All right. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Okay. So. And now we can start moving around in here. Shifted bathroom complaint. Material house memory. Okay. Ah, yeah, that's one of the radios with the uh, copyrighted music setting turned on it's not letting us hear it so okay I just love the pneumatic tubes that is awesome hmm Lots 
lots of blueprints. Film projector. Bits of info. No. That's cool, B. Okay, well, do I have level one clearance yet? Negative. Okay. All right, what else can we do here? That's pretty much it. All right, so we did the boardroom. Yeah. So we got to get to the hotline. All right. Let us sally forth. Again, our welcome message. Oh. 
No. That was dumb. Very dumb. Oh shit! What the hell was that? Why am I not getting healing bits? Sounds like it's doing Justin Bieber lyrics. God, this game really just puts you on edge. Ah, hell. Oh, hey! Where the hell? Ah, fuck. <sighs> Couldn't see where he was. Just hearing that chatter going on and on and on with the headphones on. It's just next level. But that's part of the atmosphere of the game. It's really intense. Yep. The boardroom. Okay. Oh, wait. Ah, crap. Am I going to have to again. go welcome through this message. again?
Well, at least they got a chance to get some of these things that I missed. Good to know. Ah, uh, dead letters. Okay, so I can't get through that way, so once I get towards the center here, stuff's going to start popping again. Yep. Okay. Here they come. Okay. Ugh. Communications. We're on the right track.
just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. OOP. Oops. Okay, you down with OOP? Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. <laughs> He's just so proud of that. <laughs> and once he launched a cup. All right, definitely not at level two clearance. So, What's up here? Phew. Okay, so let's take a look weapon loadouts here. Let's see. Rate of fire boost. We already got a damage boost. Reload efficiency, which is what I had before. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that there. Let's take a look at these. So, 21 energy boost, which health boost 15. All right, it's an additional 1%, but what the heck? Every little bit helps. That can't be good. So the hiss has got that. An object of power. Looks like the hiss has latched on to it. We need to cleanse it.
Ouch! Whoa! here it's like the channel's been changed the boards in charge here their pyramids in the bureau seal are they really the ones pulling the strings i'm not their director i'm no one's director hold r1 release okay Probably means I've got some kind of monster to fight. Ah. Good to know. Oh, I need to collect all these health bits here. Okay, good to know. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like me. Where are you? 
Well. There. Whew. All right. Well, that's kind of a cool power to have. I'm not going to lie. Still don't have the clearance. Okay, so we're heading this way. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Okay, so technically Whew, 
All right, here we go. Into the breach. Jeez. That's a lot of blood. Oops. Oh, God. <sighs> Locked. Maybe there's a key nearby. Wouldn't that be nice? Fuck. Well, it's not on you. Definitely claiming this control point. Was that key? Wait, he did? Oh, thanks, Beat. All right, dead guy. Oh, yeah, there, you're absolutely right. This must open the door. Okay. Thank you very much, Beat. I appreciate that a great deal. Well, good news. Now we can get into level one security places. Oh. Okay. They can fly now. Ah, fuck. Okay. Shit. <laughs> yep. God, those flying things. Are creepy. Well, at least we can claim that control point, which means we shouldn't appear too far away from there. Because I think you reappear at the closest control point. So, thank goodness for that. Okay. Now, what am I doing? different way of flying all together different kind of flying
All right. Move. They can fly now. Great. Ground forces. Shit. funny I was watching Oxhorn play and I'm like uh oh just do the thing and yeah whatever <laughs> it's a whole different thing when you're playing it oh no that's not what I wanted to do Dang it! Okay, ground guy is gonna be here somewhere. is tough. Because <sighs> it's not like a ground person on the ground where you pick something up and throw it at them and they can't really get out of the way. But if they're levitating like that, they do have... They've got maneuverability. So...
they can fly now. Great. thinking I'm behind cover and I'm just not Wow and you run out of items to pick up pretty quickly. <laughs> trying to run for cover and fail. It seems like when you get further into the room, that's when the ground forces start spawning. So that's why I've been trying to hang back. Because if I can get rid of the guy that's flying around then it's going to be easier to deal with the ground forces because honestly I don't know how many are going to spawn it looked like two spawn in but I could be misreading that too they can fly now great Nope. Take cover. Oh. Yeah, when you're grabbing stuff, uh, you can't really grab cover. Whoa. that or ground forces start spawning in at a certain time and I'm just now noticing it? Whoa! Shit! <sighs> you son of a bitch! Nah, I'm willing to take suggestions at this point, Beat. Holy crap.
They can fly now. Great. Oh, shit. Wow, bullets really don't seem to do a whole lot. Oh, shit. And there's the ground forces. Oh, ah. mm. Oh god, guy above me. Shit. Ah. I thought I had cover. Dang it. Oh. Shit. Mm. Ah, crap, I ran into the wall. Ugh. Yeah, I haven't been able to look at the meter that when I start shooting him, if it actually is doing any damage to him. Because I know in gameplay there are some enemies that you use a gun on them and it's just, you might as well tickle them with the feather. I don't know if this is one of them. Because this is more the boss of this level. If I recall. Oh, shit. Damn it! I was trying to grab that box! Fuck. This is exhausting. Come on. Well, I know there's a second floor, but man, that just seems like tempting fate to go up to the second floor, but... I'd kind of be at the same level as the flying person. Or whatever you want to call it. A flying hiss. Maybe I need to try that. Yep, they fly now. Okay. They can fly now. Glad Great. we had that discussion.
Come on, run. Shit. Well, this strategy really isn't working. I don't think I've scored a hit on him yet. Yeah, bullets do nothing. Shit. Come on. Ground forces have to be showing up here pretty soon. You son of a bitch! Okay, no hiss up here yet. So it retreated. I have a feeling he'll be back. Yeah, I do, I do too. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. And I didn't kill anything, so I can't recharge my health. <laughs> Woof! Wow! That was ugly. So... Is there? No, there isn't. Well, at least my health is recharged, so I got that going for me. Alright, let's climb up here. Oops. Alright, I need to get to... wondering if that thing's gonna pop out and destroy me. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Oh, the that's got him. Yeah, that was the All guy. Right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. Sorry. Uh... Yeah, I really need that Mysterious help. Mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged our cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds at all for that and to show up inside a U.S. embassy? 
Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier. To... Are you still recording this? <sighs> the hotline can't be far now. Well, I can hear it, that's for sure. Okay. What's this say? The law of three applies. Two? Three. Have we been here before? No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. But this feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Interesting. Ah, there's the sound. The key has a black pyramid on it. <sighs> okay, that probably means we go back to the door with the black pyramid on it. And... It's interesting. Huh. Okay. Oh, there's like a painting. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to assume that this is another law of three, two, three. Okay. Astral Plane Challenge. 
I'd rather take the Pepsi challenge. Oh god. Okay. Whoa! Okay. And I tried to jump at it. Gosh dang it. Well, Jesus, you'd think I would have learned the first five times. That's exhausting. Ah, oh, fuck. I have got fallout absolutely emblazoned in my brain. Okay, so... Let's do this. That almost got ugly. Oh. Yeah, you got that right, pal. Let's try not to fuck this up here. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Okay, so it seems that... Oops, sorry. 
Okay, so now I have access to the hotline and Trench had things to tell me, it seems. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. They have proven themselves. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. So I followed my own orders. North Moore hated my guts for that. But things change when you become director. You suddenly see this dark void for the horror show it truly is. Filled with screaming fear we pretend to control. Sand leaks through my fingers. The roses I pruned in the garden back when I still had a family. All dead. Heat escapes my body. My thoughts are scattered. The universe keeps expanding. I can't keep up with it alone. When I forget that, things go wrong. And my team has to pick up the pieces. Damage control. To help me get out of my mess. Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The Ocean View operates on dream logic and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places <laughs> and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation <laughs> even bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid the rest the many other doors are still mysteries to us. <laughs> We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit just to breathe mm. easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. <laughs> So Trench is kind of like a hard-boiled detective in a certain fashion. All right. So, good God. All right. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. Okay. The mysterious... Which we heard that. Ring, ring. It's Dr. Darling calling. <laughs> in 1978... A comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up, going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered. And the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. Jesus. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Our very own Ouija board. Only the director yeah, I'd the agree with that. He Beat. hears is kept classified. Oh. 
okay, so now we're discovering two, even though there are some things that we experience and then they end up as collectibles that we have to kind of go back in to hear all of it. God, yeah, let's... People let's... react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Ah, okay. So it was locked out. And now that we have gotten it, it's now kind of a part of a part of the map that we can just walk to, which is cool. Okay. So we need to speak with Emily and I can go through the director's off. Wait a second. What are you? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this place is a frickin' maze. And we couldn't get there before because this was an entire mural and not a door. This building, one of the things that I really love about... Oh, and he's gone. It's one of the things I really love about this game. And now this file is here. It wasn't here before. Okay, how do they get their funding? I have really... I really need to know that. Did I? Some other time. Which makes me wonder what's going to be through this door. Alright, so now we need to get to Emily by taking a left. Oh, wait. Yeah, but I've got the security one card now. Yeah! Clearance level one. Woo! Ah, that was already in there. Doesn't matter. Okay, so... Ah, shit, I went too far. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, oh, that's level four. Do not have that level of clearance. You know what, we are gonna save here. Let's talk to Emily. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? I, sorry. 
I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> that should be a quick fight. got hi Jesse oh so we Thanks, already Emily. yeah I'm sure I'll have more questions soon just let me know okay well, we had that one file pop up in the director's office so I just wanted to take a quick spin around here and see what do you hear on. that someone's singing where is it coming from Hmm. Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Hope has asked us to document the his incantation, as she calls it. You mean like the first shooting in person? Time to work. Meet me in the main denounce. All right, everybody. Uh, I've been streaming since about 8.30, so I think we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, we're going to head to maintenance and uh, continue on with the mystery of the oldest house and figure out more about Jesse Faden's story, about the incident at Ordinary, and... Uh, more of the OOPs, the AWEs, and everything else that goes along with it. So, thanks for watching, everybody. And, uh, yeah, we'll continue this next time. Thank you much. Have a good night.
Goodbye.